Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use these portable badminton nets in your PE classroom. The setup for this net is incredibly easy with the internal shock cord guiding you on which pieces to slot into each other and also making it impossible to lose any pieces. Continue to assemble the frame of the net until all pieces are connected and where they should be. Next is to slide the circular foam pieces along the base bar to keep the bar off the ground. Net time, grab the net and ensure that the yellow tape is at the top. Place the end of the net sleeve over the vertical net pole and connect the hook inside the pole to the eyelet on the top of the net for extra tension. Complete the same procedure on the other side of the net. The net's 5.1 metres wide which allows for maximum participation in badminton and many other sports in PE. Converting the badminton height to tennis is also quick and easy. Simply pull the net down to the bottom and pull out the top pole from the frame and let it hang from the side of the net. Complete this again on the other side and you have yourself a tennis net. Additional cords can be created using barrier tape to increase participation in your physical education classroom. Simply pull the nets apart so that the gap is equal to the width of a net and tie the barrier tape to the top of the net. Then pull the tape across to the other net and repeat the process by tying it off again. Slack in the tape can be fixed by pulling one of the nets further away. And then the court is ready for play. Pack up time, it's time to find the blue bag and do the process in reverse to get the net and the frame back into the bag. Unhook the net and take it off the vertical pole, then repeat the process on the other side. Place the net on the ground away from your feet and then start to pull each connected piece out. Slide the circular foam piece on the base bar closer to the end so that the metal frame pieces can be slotted in easily. Continue this until all pieces are secured in the foam and then pick up the stack and move towards the other side, going top and tail whilst disconnecting from the base bar as you go. Once halfway across, walk over to the other side of the net, repeat the same process as you completed on the other side of the net with the vertical pole and the base bar. Remembering to slide across the small circular piece so that the metal pieces can slot in nicely so that it's nice and tight in a metal stack so that it can then be slotted into the bag. To finish up the pack up process, simply zip open the bag and place in the neatly stacked metal frame. Fold up the net evenly and then place it in with the frame. Zip up the bag and it's a job well done. 